Hi guys, it's Miss Acton here to teach you reading again today. So I'm um, kind of sticking with what we did on Monday where we're answering questions about an informational text that we have. Um, Miss Acton is going to um, show you what you're going to be doing by yourself, um, guiding you with our Okapi text that we're used to. And that's mainly because I don't want to waste my time reading this text three times for us to answer questions about it. Most of y'all heard this text, text at least once. So we shouldn't have to read through it and sit there and really focus on it. We can just skim through it really, really quickly and then be able to answer all of these awesome questions about this. I know this looks like a Google form. And the reason I did it this way is because I feel like I have a lot of friends that are not using the Google form the way that you need to. So I'm going to show you some things today that maybe might help you um, be able to use everything that you can from these Google forms. Okay. So today, our I will statement is, I will answer what questions about an informational text. So our informational text would be our copy one, which we're going to read right now. But then you guys on your own, in your own Google form that's in your classwork tab, are going to be doing one on electric eels. Let's see if this works. It doesn't work. All right, let me erase that stuff. Oh. Oh my gosh, I want to erase it. Apparently it won't let me click it with my finger. Miss Acton always has trouble with technology, doesn't she? All right, so first let's read our all copy text. Now again, most of you have heard this several times, so we're going to read through this super quick and one time. All copies. The all copy is a weird looking animal. It looks like the leftover parts of many different animals we know. It has the stripes of a zebra on its legs. Its neck is like a giraffe's, but not quite as long. Most of its body looks like a horse. Its horns look like a giraffe horns on top of its head. It has a long blue sticky tongue in its mouth. Okapi are fun to look at, but they have more than just their looks. They are herbivores. They only eat plants. Some plants they eat are poisonous to humans. Oh, copies are good moms too. All right, so we read our text. Now let's answer some what questions about them. So every single one of these questions starts with the what word. When you are doing your own in your classwork today, all of the questions will begin with what as well. So you should be able to read that word every single time. What is a word you would use to describe the ears of an okapi? So we need to pick out a word, and this word has to describe the ears of the okapi. So do you see how Miss Acton's reading, and then I'm coming up and looking again? That's what good readers do. They go back to the text, and they check. So I'm like, okay, I remember the ears, but I want to go get a better look. And I could either read about the ears, but we know that there's nothing in the words about the ears. We know that we're learning the information from the visual. That's what we worked on last week. So the visual is teaching me, and it even says right here, big. Big ears. I wonder if that's going to help me. What is a word you would use to describe the ears of an okapi? Small. Mm -mm. That's actually the opposite of what it said. Ooh, big. So big was definitely one of the words, but I want to see if there's a word that's better for it. But I am going to check that one off just in case. Let's see if the next two are striped. Now it looked like it was solid brown. I'm going to go back up to the text to make double sure. I mean, they're brown, but they're definitely not striped like their legs are. Droopy. So droopy would be like they sag from the side. And no, they're really, they're standing straight up. They're, the words you would say is perky. They're standing straight up. So yeah, they're definitely not droopy. So after reviewing all of these words, big is definitely the one that makes the most sense. So I'm going to keep that answer. All right, let's go to number two. What would an okapi do with its baby? It didn't say anything about babies in the text, but I do remember... You see how I'm going back up to my text. This is what good readers do. This is what you should do. They only eat some plants or poisonous humans over here. Oh, copies are good moms too. And we know from Monday, oh, copies can only be good moms if they have a baby. So you could have a girl oh, copy, but she can't be a mom unless she has a baby. Okay. So we know that oh, copies are good moms too. So we know that when we talk about this question, what would an oh, copy do with its baby? We need to find an answer that makes sense to being a good mom for an okapi, for an animal, because that's different for humans. For us, 
a good mom would, you know, sing you a lullaby or um, wrap you up tight in a blanket to keep you warm. But we know Okapis wouldn't do either one of those. So we have to pay extra close attention to how an Okapi can be a good mom. So let's read our choices. Teach it how to dance. Kind of goofy and silly. I definitely don't think that Okapis care to teach their babies how to dance. So we're not going to check that one off. Feed it and protect it. That's what all good moms do, whether it's an animal or a human. So I'm going to check that because I think that's going to be our answer. But let's check the last two just to be sure, because that's what good people, good test takers do. Show it how to make a cake. Now, that's maybe something that your mom might do later on in your life. But, oh, copies are not doing that with their baby. So that's definitely no. Give it stripes on its legs. So copies have stripes on its legs. And the mom would maybe give it the stripes because, you know, the mom, you know, created it in the belly. But would that make it a good mom, though? Mm, I don't think so. I think that's just making it look like them. Like, Miss Acton really wanted my baby to have my, you know, darker colored hair. But that doesn't make me a good mom. Does that make sense? So that one doesn't make any sense. So definitely feed it and protect it is definitely our best answer. Okay, so two things Miss Acton's been doing. I've been going back up to the text to help me because that's what good readers do. And I've been going over every single answer. So I could have stopped it big. I could have stopped it, feed it, and protect it. But I wanted to make double extra awesome, perfectly sure that I had the right answer. So I checked all the answers. So check all of your answers to make absolutely sure you choose the best one. And go back up to the text if you need to, to look for those other extra details. That's what good readers do. All right, number four, number three. This one has more than one answer. So when you see these squares, you know that you need to check more than one answer. Oh, what are some ways an copy is like a giraffe? Ooh, so I'm gonna go back up to the text real quick because that's what good readers do. And I remember it said giraffes twice in here. So I think I'm gonna need two answers for this one. Its neck is like a giraffe's, but not quite as long. So the neck, remember the neck? Okay, it talked about the neck. Then I said it again. Oh, right here. Its horns look like giraffe's horns on top of its head. So it's got little bitty horns. And you can even see it in the visual. And you can see the long neck in the visual too. So the words and the visual show me two things that, um, that the giraffe and the okapi are the same, that are similar. So the neck and the horns. So let's go back to our answers. What are some ways an old copy is like a giraffe? The long neck. Oh, I mentioned that. So, yeah, we're definitely going to check that one. The way it sings songs from the movie Frozen. What? <laughs> old copies don't have any desire to sing. I don't think that they can sing. And even if they did want to sing, do you think they want to choose the songs from Frozen? they probably choose a different song. So that's definitely not it. Dab. That's how an old copy is like a giraffe. Who came up with these answers? <laughs> the horns on its head. Oh, remember, so we remember the long neck and then the horns on top of its head. The visual showed us that and the words that we read showed us that too. So it's definitely those two. Okay. All right, going on in question number four. What is the text mostly talking about? Okay, so it says, oh, copies. It definitely talked about oh, copies. Oh, copies are good moms. It definitely mentioned oh, copies are good moms. Oh, copies are really good at Fortnite. Said nothing like that. So I know that's definitely not going to be my answer. Oh, copies eat plants. Okay, this one's tricky because it definitely mentioned oh, copies. So number one could be your answer. It mentioned oh, copies are good moms. So that could be your answer too. Oh, copies eat plants. It mentioned that one too. So it could be all three of these. What is the text mostly talking about? I feel like it talked about like the question said something about moms and it was the last thing that it mentioned. So like, you know, the saying, save the best for last and, and moms are important. So I don't know. My gut's telling me that one. So I'm going to pick up copies are good moms. And then the last one. So this one is your answer. So you type this in using your fingers and your keyboard. What color is the Okapi's tongue? So again, good readers. Back up to the text. So I remember the visual doesn't show me, but I remember it was right here in the middle when it talked about all the different things that an Okapi's body has going on. It has a long blue. Oh, there's blue right there. So I'm going to remember how I spell it. B-L-U-E. Blah, blah. And then U-E. Blah. U-E. B-L-U-E. Come in here. Blah, blah. B-L-U-E. All right. 
Then once you're done, you push that submit button. Now, this is what Ms. Acton wants to show you and what some of you guys are not taking advantage with your Google Forms. Now, I don't know if Ms. Jess does this or if Ms. Ramos or Mr. Barr does this, but Ms. Acton does this on her forms. So after you turn yours in, it says your response has been recorded, and then it gives you a choice to review your score. View your score. There's hidden gems in here, okay? So when you push view score, it opens up another tab, and it's actually going to break down all the questions for you. So the first thing it's going to show you is what your score is. So Mine says it's five out of six. So that means out of six questions, I got five right. So if there's six questions and I got one, two, three, four, five right, that means I got one wrong. Now I could just move on from this, but I want to see which one I got wrong. I really don't know. I feel like I did the best I could. So it shows you all the questions. Oh, so I got number one right. I kind of knew that though, because there was no other answer made any sense. So the, yeah, the old copies have big ears. Yeah, it would feed it and protect it. Oh, we got that one that had two different answers, right? Oh, looks like it was this one. Okay. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so let's let's slow down. What is the text mostly talking about? Okay, we said, oh, copies could have been an answer. So clearly, oh, copies are good moms was not the answer. So it was either oh, copies or oh, copies eat plants. Right here, it tells me the correct answer. It said it's just oh, copies. But... I don't know why, because if I did know why, I probably would have got the answer right. And you should be thinking that too. If I did know the answer, I would have gotten it right. I didn't know the answer. That's why I got it wrong. So right down here, Miss Acton says, watch this video to help you with this question. Hmm. And there's a blue link. And you guys know blue links? We click on them. Let's see what this link is all about. Let's move me out of the way. I'm going to bring up a video. Oh, and I bet this video is a video of Miss Acton talking to you about what? Look at Miss Acton's face. <laughs> All right, let's see what she has to say. Because this I'm is what talking a good about this question right here. Um, if you're listening to Miss Acton, it means that you probably did not get it right. So it says, What we is did not the get text it right. mostly talking about? What is the text mostly talking about? So when I say text, we're talking about the old copy text that most of you all have seen several times, especially if you follow along with Ms. Acton's videos. It's not asking what's it talking about, because that could be, I mean, all of these except for old copies are really good at Fortnite. It said nothing about that. We know that there's no way that that could be true. Um, but it mentioned old copies. Absolutely. That's all the text talks about. It mentioned how oh, copies eat plants. They're herbivores, which means they I only eat plants. Three and sentences actually, about that. Some plants that are poisonous to humans that could kill or make a human really sick. And oh, copies are good moms. They talk about that in the text too. So, so far what she's mentioned is what I was talking to you about when we took the text. It mentioned all three of those. So all three of those could have been the answer. And that's why, that's what we were thinking. And that's why Miss Acton chose oh, copies are good moms. So three of these the text talks about, but that's not what the question asks you. The question says, what is the text mostly talking about? So most The most of the text has to be talking the about The most. This. So let's go to this one. Oh, copies are good moms. Did most of the text talk about this? No, just the end. There was, there was one literally sentence. one sentence that talked about how oh, copies are good moms. Only one. In this last one, oh, copies eat plants. I'm going to wait for that to go away. Oh, copies eat plants. Did the most of the text talk about that? No, absolutely not. Only the end of it. There was two sentences to go with that. Um, there was actually so three. One more than the There was actually three, so I made a mistake on that video, but still, not the entire text. Only three sentences. So it talked about how they're herbivores, which it talked about their herbivores. And it said they eat plants, which is the same thing. And then it talked about how the, some of the plants they eat are poisonous to humans. So it mentioned three different sentences. But it, that was not what the text was mostly about, though. Just three sentences. No copies are good moms, but still not most of the text. Now, did every single sentence in this entire text talk about O oh, copies? Yes, it did. So wouldn't it make sense? That whenever I ask you what is this text mostly talking about, that every single bit of this test is mostly talking about old copies, whether it's how they look, 
how good of moms they are, what they eat. What... So all Miss Acton is showing you is that whenever you guys are working on these forms, don't just submit it and then get a score and then move on with your life. That's that's not how it's supposed to work, okay? You want to make sure... Oh, where'd you go? So you want to make sure that whenever you're, um, after you submit it, that you want to see what your score is. What did you get wrong? We learn from our mistakes, guys. That's probably one of the fastest ways that you can learn is by looking at your mistakes. So the one that I did get wrong, I have feedback right there. That's Miss Acton taking time out of her day to record this video, put it on this question so you have it. So when you do get this answer wrong, she tells you why and helps you. So the next time that you answer a question like this, you're not confused by it, okay? And then we got the last one, right? So there's no feedback for that. So make sure after you submit your work, push view score and go look to see how good you did and the questions that you didn't get right don't freak out about it learn from your mistake and watch the videos and the feedback that miss actor or miss ramos or miss just or mr barr who's helping out miss ramos put in there okay so have fun answering the questions about the electric eel article the electric eel text today um and Please, 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 if you have any trouble, please contact your teachers, okay? Um, have a good day, and once you're done with this, go work on, or sorry, once you're done with your reading work, go work on your math and your writing for today, too, okay? Bye, guys!